right, the last case. Good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank Why is so blurry? We haven't been that was weird. I think uh, uh, Unreal Engine was not Sorry, Doctor. And whatever the camera was told to do wasn't doing and what so good. About this it's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How is oh, that's interesting. With his fall from grace? He can finally see things. Wait, so Elsa just goes to him for a morphine like addiction? I guess so. Himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger, healthy. You wouldn't make a bad so she's unaware of how like evil and interconnected seats. this doctor is. <laughs> well, yeah, no one's told her anything. <laughs> Look at that smile. Okay. And what is that? In my case. I mean, she does seem to have an inkling of like how much danger like all of this entails in general. But why would she, she think was... he's in, he's he's involved, right? Like Kelso? I don't know. No, uh I just like the sound. Paul and Jack are working on that case together. Why are you spilling the beans? No. Yeah, like you're you're talking way too much about this. He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. Uh, his he's moving around a little too much. So is she actually. He's investigating. You look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. Because of you. Close the window. I'm a, I'm surprised he didn't try to like get out another surette or injectable thingamajig. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields. Oh, she's Your suspecting something. Okay, so she did come with a motive. I meet many people in my line of work. Don't let him walk behind you. Yeah, I know. Holy did God. You, just turn your chair to face him. Just one of you. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at that club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion. Don't let him walk behind you. He's grabbing something and you can't see it. Oh my god. Just, or even just watch him. Look at him you, right now. Can you not, not see <laughs> You idiot. Oh my god. This is stupid. Well, there's like you came here accusing him and he started talking slowly and like stalking around you like you need to be more alert than this it's an unfortunate and grisly oh 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 it's that guy it's the fire guy he came in to save him save her wow she's he's cool well not it's it's redemptive but I don't know if he's cool to help you cross over He's doing a cool thing. All your yeah, one cool thing. Next but he did accidentally burn those people down that one time. A few times, actually. Oh, no. So where's the news? There's the other newspaper. The first newspaper is here. Where's the other one? Uh... A different kind of war. It's in Rapid Exterminators. Rapid Exterminators. Okay. Okay. Gotta be one of these places. So he's All still right, fucked back up. On he's still fucked up and he's still doing stuff. Well, he's healed up a little bit. I like oh, the you progress. can see the book! He must have worked at one of these joints. Ooh. That's so interesting. Huh. Oh, oh, this is the Rapid Exterminators. This is where it comes up. Okay. Well, let's go to Rapid Exterminators then. It's the first one. Okay. Yay! What would be the biggest exterminator company in the LA area today? I don't know, but, but sometimes exterminators. Yeah, when you're when you're driving by that one freeway, you always see the Western Exterminators building with the with yeah, that, that guy dude holding with the, the mallet. With the mallet. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, well, that's pretty classic seeming. Yeah, it's it's such a classic part of the LA uh, freeway skyline. Then you look at Orkin and it looks like like a biohazardous thing. <laughs> yeah. Or not, maybe not biohazardous, like chemical hazards. Right, 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 right. Which I guess technically they are. Mama. Oh, Pistol Pack and Mama's on this soundtrack? That's a pretty good song. Yep. <laughs> 
Lay that pistol down. Go back in mama. Oh god. Oh, look at that. Oh, just popped out of the car. Okay. <laughs> what a weird, awkward look. That was a, that was a bad animation. That looked like a dance move to look at your notebook. Pop. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to Why play. are you so hostile, you Jesus? Hostile, I know, son. it's a that bad tone to take. Appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. <laughs> They're the ones who need it. Everyone had an attitude back in the day. Works well, wait, people. he's still wearing the he same bloody here. suit. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it, there was no... Sure? It never stopped. He he was I'm working since morning. You want coming back. Okay, yeah, so... I'm sure. Very little time has passed. Here we go. Crusade against corruption. Peterson pledges to clean up the lapid. Uh, the assistant okay, district. Hey, hold up! Attorney. I gotta, I gotta hallucinate for a second. <laughs> this is also another like picture. It's just a picture. No, that, that, no, that's a model. That looks like a model to me. Looks like a picture to me. That's a model. I see. It's a oh, picture. this is a, a really good scene. Courtney, you idiot! Look, what because Jack pick of the paper. Like drug overdose. Phelps Get away is in from there. Him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> work a case. I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Oh! Can we back it off a notch? Holy this shit! Out of air. A time to talk and a time to shut up. Good job, Herschel. Time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with. The mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say more oh, I found that out real quick. And I will blow your fucking head off! Dang. You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Shelton's dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. Dang. <laughs> All right. I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the corner gets here. Make sure he doesn't have much to evidence. say. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'm looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, oh. Folks, not the worst. Ass wow. Going around. Thanks, Herschel. <laughs> Thanks, Herschel. So that was a, that was a newspaper scene. Yeah. And you're see we're it seeing because Kelso is the one who looked at it, so we're seeing him and uh, Phelps in the 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 flashback. So this happened a little while ago. Well, if you say that's a model, do we see this man? Yeah, that was the guy who talked to Fel uh, to to this guy, to uh, um, Kelso. Remember, he was the one who's like, "I'm the ADA. I'm gonna become elected." I think I remember him, but I don't remember that being his face. Yeah, that was his face. All right, if you say so. Wait, is that it? There's nothing else in this location? Okay. This Wait, place was for just for the newspaper. Interesting. Really? Yeah, I guess so. Because well, we're trying to track down an exterminator. I guess so. Yeah, it's crossed off. Wow. Oh, you're just hitting every exterminate, uh, like, yeah. pest control yeah. spot. He's just doing footwork instead of looking it up, because he doesn't have the lady who can just look up places for her. I suppose. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Careful, you're turning into oncoming traffic. I'm fine, I'm an investigator. No. You're not. Ugh. I don't care what badge or gun they give you. <laughs> Oh! You're just playing a video game. <laughs> that, that person... Oh, he's alive. Okay, good. Wow, so many blue cars. I'm surprised he's alive. I'm surprised anyone's alive. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought for sure you are about to hit that person. <laughs> Excellent. Like, every time you get close to, like, just... Completely mowing down a pedestrian, I I get a little worried. Not gonna lie, makes me anxious. 
<laughs> Bug be gone. That guy was like waiting for the camera to be on him to start walking. Did you yeah. see? Yeah, he, he missed his cue. Yeah. What did I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak you with an Do me for 50 bucks. Cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Oh, okay, let's just take his word for it. Okay. Oh, I like the I like the detail that the car has like a little you dust on the trim. Musical film. Yeah. Now, I wonder when it Mexican. appeared. Westlake. I know where that is. California drivers. I guess he's not from California. Uh, it's true. Yeah, because because uh, even uh, his old boss said, Kelso, don't just call me whatever. We're in California. Right. Implying he doesn't know that. Oh, right. I'm in California. Yeah. He says. There was Cleveland. He was from Detroit. <laughs> uh. Apparently, it was a thing um, that was like, you know how that's like a joke in uh, uh, Forrest Gump? Uh -huh. That was a thing people did like on purpose yeah. uh, as for nicknames in the army because everyone just thought it was funny. I mean, it is funny. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it is a joke in the movie, but it's based on a thing that soldiers <laughs> actually did to each other. Yeah. Got a job to do. I got a job to do. <laughs> All right, this has to be it. I forgot where Cleveland was from. From Texas? Was it? Because uh, there was a guy named the, Tex. I'm looking he for couldn't a big remember where Tex come from. Extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, big cowboy. I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? I was weird. Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Odd. Oh, what? Fade to black. And then a loading screen? What? Oh, yesterday. Oh, first. Oh, this is the phone call they were talking about, I bet you. On the oh, phone call. There's Rusty. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Wow, the guy Spine broke his neck. Twig. Oh. The suspect wow. is mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman Cole. She's missing. Well, that body language is kind of weird. that she saw some big Boris Karloff. <laughs> Boris Karloff. <laughs> the best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Thanks, Rusty. Let me, let me in. Okay. I got look at that last paper. There we go. This is the rule that this oh, there is no investigation music only appears when someone's dead on the scene. Um, if there's something. something to investigate. Oh, there's the paper. Okay. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Hang on, I got a hallucination. Now hold on, I got a hallucination. <laughs> <laughs> the face of progress says may of developer. What mayor of developer? What? Mayor of... The face of progress says mayor of developer Leland Monroe. Mayor of developer? I'm able to parse it. The face of pro... Like, the mayor is saying... Oh, of... says mayor of developer Leland Monroe. Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Property Very awkward phrasing. But... plan for city of Los Angeles. This is a bad headline, that means. What a... Uh, look at that picture of him. <laughs> I'm living on the fringe. Yeah, it's me, Fringe. That lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control <laughs> is of the essence. These guys are dead. Keep your voice down. Or, or at least he has his legs shot. Bitches charge for lunch. Fuck them. Leland, <laughs> we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. What are you talking about? We had that real shot of us. I thought we were going to <laughs> release it. What, what happened to that, what happened that <laughs> film we shot? What happened to that movie we made? I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. 
It's weird that he seems to be like a little dismayed at hearing that Courtney's dead. Yeah, like why, the fuck, why did he care? Why you fucking care? He wouldn't. I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Ben. Wait, this is this means his his leg was still shot here. I guess. He's got nowhere to run. Might probably call himself a doctor, and he's fine. And he is just sitting down. He That's might be true. limping if he walks away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this might have been before that. When he said, I'll take care of Jack Kelso. And then that's when he called mm, maybe. him. And then... So that last newspaper was of no importance whatsoever. Okay. That is kind of odd. Why do they show that to you last? It's clear that there was problems. Ooh, oh, well, blood ball. Blood ball, blood ball, it's a blood ball. Oh no. Oh come bullet on. Blood ball, Almost. bullet ball, it's a bullet ball. Oh my. Thank you so much for your foresight, doctor. Ha ha. Ha ha. Like it's it's a literal crystal ball. Yes. I don't know if I want to see that in my psychiatrist's office. That's true. That, that it's a little weird. Leland listed like it's below. more legitimate than that. Come on. <laughs> listed below the properties you wanted accounted for. My associate has visited each and made a thorough survey. And from what he tells me, I gather. Oh, these... yeah, I got to read it like Dr. Fontaine. Oh, oh, because it's oh, him. It's Fontaine. Oh, uh, I gather these fanatics and residents are no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. Kind there you go. Gods. By the end, by the end, you got there. <laughs> I switched took to like you, three different. <laughs> took, took you a bit, but you got there. Kind regards, Doctor Harlan J. Fontaine. <laughs> All right, <laughs> hang on, everybody. Liability. Speak to Curtis. <laughs> oh, this is now Leland again. Harlan, this was not our arrangement. Your associate is overstepping his mark. Get him under control. I will take whatever action is necessary. Oh, that's very funny. Allow me to get up from my chair and, <laughs> and walk, walk slowly by. behind you. <laughs> that's his M.O., isn't it? That's his only move. Yeah, he, he doesn't have a gun or a knife. Just slowly <laughs> walks behind and sees what's around him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, this God. is the guy. This is the this is the burn, Bernie guy. Uh, the guy who sets things on fire. Yeah, Bernie. <laughs> His name's Bernie. <laughs> His name is Bernie Saunders. Uh, wait, that that looked weird. The way, I, yeah, the fact that it's doing doing it. Okay. Dun dun dun. Oh, Tang was having the houses burned from Monroe. Oh, I needed to uh, really. You have to tap these. That's stupid. To, to commit them to your evidence list. Not. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm happy started dying and it attracted attention he and the doctor lost I gathered control. this from reading it myself maybe you should also tap the paragraph on the bottom it won't let me there's no tapping okay. possible all right I'm talking about yeah th on this one oh, oh at the very bottom okay no 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 new info yeah get 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 him <laughs> under <laughs> Uh, very good, very good. <laughs> yeah, that kind of annoys me after a while. It's too much. Okay, so now it's a thing. Oh, that stop stepping in the they... evidence, goddamn! <laughs> I forget. I've already forgot the cutscene. Like when he came into the room, the the our he, the doors man. are kicked the wrong way. You're right. Yeah, okay, I thought that was that that looked off. Mmm. Good job, detective. It looks like mm. this is a case of a lazy developer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, granted, I've 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 gone over this several times in all of our playthroughs over time, but I ate. most doors in video games go both ways out of, as a convenience. Why is he have a lighter at his in fact, on it? Recently, Return of the Obra Dinn did not have double double swaying doors. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But most games do. What a game I don't know what was. IH would stand for, though. Yeah, Obra Dinn was a pretty good game. Lots it's of mystery. A monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. 
Okay. Um, I think it was Pokemon, the first movie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Much like the legendary Mewtwo. <laughs> We set out to create the most powerful Pokemon in the world. <laughs> oh my god! We succeeded. <laughs> the idea... No good to me. Uh, ...of Phelps being this huge Pokemon mark. <laughs> it, it, it's just... It is just like... Oh my god. <laughs> That's the only way he can, like, connect anything. To yep. make, by making Pokemon metaphors. That's... Yeah, that's an idea. You could write a detective about. You oh. could write a detective story about that. Oh, he has a certified shrinking couch. I know. Why? Why did no one ever sit there? I know. What the heck? They all just talk to him at the big honking desk. You know why? It's just too difficult to animate the face correctly. Also, like, who wants to do their work with their face with, with their back facing like a window door? Yeah, I'd be nervous a lot. Yeah, I, I that feels way too like exposed and I don't wait, know about that, man. Wait, I don't want to do that. Stuff is happening out here. Music's yeah, happening. Yeah, this out is here. investigation. Was there nothing to investigate about that stretcher and stuff? Uh, I wouldn't let me. No. Um. Yeah, it won't let me. Well, the coroner stuff usually isn't evidence, oh, though, I guess. Oh, is that? No, it's nothing. What's Some... left? Some... Well, the music continues pretty far out. The zone is really big this time. Yeah, this is a, this is a big zone. Get in the zone. Investigation zone. <laughs> you know the O'Reilly theme song? Yes. So, um... When we were graduating at CalArts, CalArts lets you choose uh, what song you want to play for a six-second clip when you come out. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, and uh, uh, one of the people there um, uh -huh. used the O'Reilly theme song. Wait, was that during your graduation? Yeah, it was during my graduation. Yeah. I probably heard it and laughed and oh, forgot. Oh, yeah, you were there. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 O'Reilly. Yeah, dude, that's everyone and everyone Auto was like, oh, parts. my God. <laughs> hey man, that's the power of jingles. You got six seconds, go. Yeah. What the fuck? You will be remembered. You will be sucked. You will remember our names, you know, Blade. Oh man, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Um, maybe talk to. Maybe you have to talk to Rusty. Well, he's he's not evidence. Maybe he'll give you evidence. Is this something? No. Uh, well, if guy was outside, or maybe I imagine there's still something inside. Well, I imagine there was something outside for him, like evidence. Oh wait, right. this looks like something. Uh, this look area like looks a bit disheveled, but I guess it ain't it, it ain't nothing. Oh. Broken window? This window is broken too? Why? Anything in here? Huh. Oh. Ah! This was it. Oh, look at all this fucking morphine. Nah, it's just the morphine. <laughs> Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. <laughs> and that's the end of that chapter. Blah, blah, blah. What? No? <gasps> Still not enough? Wait, did you explore the connecting room to the bathroom over there? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, turn to left? This Anything one? in here? Oh, I, I did investigate in here a little bit. A little bit. Mm, you here. can't open those doors, right? No doors are openable? No, only if they have a golden handle. And this is to the front. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, damn it. Um. Oh, I can't go up the stairs? Uh, yeah, is the painting something you gotta look at? Queen's Gambit? A Queen's Gambit or a Knight's Tour? 
Chess. That's a movie that exists that Marvin made. You can watch it if you want. Oh. Oh, I missed oh. this. We never this checked map. the desk. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, everyone. We never checked the book. <laughs> uh, I don't deserve Even to have I it. forgot yeah. that we didn't check the desk. I don't hey, this works right away. Look at it. Yeah, I don't deserve to for people to watch my movie now. <laughs> 30, 30 frames a second. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Edgewood Grove. Edgewood Grove. Heights. Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? No. Yeah. How come? Oh, it's weird that Herschel knows, but doesn't know why. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, is that supposed to be an arson route? I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? Wait, was that like a celluloid sheet? What? Is that a transparency? I guess so. Then how can you do the 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 the, the thing with I, the pencil? I don't know. This makes no sense to me. I can't under I can't understand what's happening. What is this? Why was there an impression on the plastic? I, I have no idea. It's not about insurance. It's about eminent domain. What are you <gasps> talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with oh. the state. Oh. Oh. Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss go? What a scam. Land? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing. Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firewood. The Oki Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Hmm. So the guy setting fires is who they need. Oh, and here's the ranch bunkhouse. Today... He's about to set a flyer. Look at this sinister fucking location. <laughs> I hurt myself today. Um, oh my god, really? We're playing the flashback if music? I am edgy. Oh, Jesus, really? Are <laughs> we about right. to. The music just cut out, it didn't fade out. Are we out. about to be besieged by Tojos? Oh god. What's what's going on here? <laughs> Hello. Hello police. investigator. Oh wait, no, you're not police. Oh, there's a saddle here. Oh man, this place looks unkempt. Well that's a fucking flamethrower. Let's bring home a forty thousand for sure. one. This is pretty extreme. When they say bring home, does that mean like the military gives you a weapon? No, you're not supposed out? to. You're supposed to return it. But a lot of soldiers claimed lost when they just had it on their person, uh, like cut up, like uh, disassembled. Uh, I see. I did not know that. Yeah, makes sense though. Eh, as I can. <laughs> no, that's a can can, sir. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't believe no! I got that wrong again. No. The sweet can, oh. though. Oh, screwdriver. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing. I just heard a sound. I, oh, the door. Who closed the door? Oh, God. You're in with ghosts. Oh, my God. Where's Whoopi Goldberg? And, and wait, who else was in ghosts? Was it Demi Moore? Demi Moore and, um... Patrick uh, Swizzles. Yeah. Um, Dirty Dancing Man. Patrick Caesar. <laughs> oh, here we are stop. with the cranes. Oh, right. 
He was folding Japan. all the man. Yeah. <laughs> so many the queue just keeps going. You gotta, you gotta get your money's worth out of that shakuhachi. Quite a flock you got here, kid. Very easy to clip. Yep. Oh, it's one of. The, wait, nope, it's not. A one flyer. Of An origami flyer from Japan. <laughs> he doesn't look Japanese. <laughs> Let me fold it back really carefully. River tunnels. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. This is how he <laughs> traveled. Ah, oh, like a ninja turtle. Yeah, Ex precisely like a ninja turtle. No, no, it's easy. Look, I've been practicing. Strange obsession. I made a pigeon rat. <laughs> it just flies, smacks, <laughs> and then knocks out as it tries to go home. <laughs> Well, the pigeon has control at first, then it hits the wall, and then the rat takes over because it's on yeah, the ground yeah. again. And, you know, synergy. So, uh, remember that that fire guy who joined Cole Phelps's crew? Yeah, he's the, the guy who went ahead and was ordered to fire everybody? Yeah, he's the guy in the back. His name was Ira Hogaboom. Oh. I-H on the lighter. Oh. oh. So it was Ira the whole time. You and it's all starting to unravel now. Did you ever play NBA Showtime on PlayStation? Peter's I did not. Because there is a there is like a moment where the announcer, like near the end of a near the end of a game, he would just keep on saying over and over, and it's all starting to unravel now. And it's all starting to unravel now. <laughs> well, that's what's happening now. Jello's jiggling right now. This is DA's yep. investigator. This game's Jack in the Kelso. fridge. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. All right, he did investigating and relayed his info. Wilshire Police Station. Oh man, it's slightly desaturated. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Go ahead. KGP. I kind of like it at this level of saturation. Looks good. The 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K and Roger code that. 3. The hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading Wait, southwest they... on Sunset Boulevard. Listen to a radio in one car and then go to another car? Yeah, I don't know why. Weird. That's in the cutscene, too. Yeah. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. All the LAPD is after him. They're trying to take him down. All right. Heavy rain. Oh, he's following traffic. That's Kelso's car. Oh, oh. Man, how come the whole game doesn't look like this? I like it. Well, we finally reached the noir part of LA Noir. It just looks nice and, like, realistic to me. It's a, it's a nice filter. Or, or lighting effect in general, I guess. Ow, jeez. So that's the car in front of me, and I gotta, I gotta help. You just gotta keep it from getting like. You have to defend him from the police. Yeah. Oh. Uh, fuck. Wait, is that presumably Ira in that car? Not Ira. That's Jack. Oh, it's Jack. Okay, Jack is leading us to the entrance, but he needed to w uh, find a way to alert us. Mm -hmm. So he created some sort of call that made sure everyone heard it too. But now all the other cops want him dead as well. The corrupt cops. Right. But they're shooting at you, not him. Ram him! 
Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. They're catching up to him. Oh, they're right on his ass. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Jack! Okay, yeah, he took care of himself. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Yeah, it looks sick. Man, why couldn't cars flip over earlier in the game? I think I think they changed something about the physics for these story sessions. Yeah, I think I think that's definitely a thing, or else it would be happening way more often. Yeah. Because even when we were playing at 30 FPS earlier in the game, it never did anything like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, whoever you are. That's yeah, for you. I don't know who you are, but you're, I'm sure you're a jerk. <laughs> uh, we're a bunch of one-eyed jacks over here. It's true. Look at this dramatic now, Did you scene. get that term exclusively from me? Yeah, that's exclusively from you. Yeah, it's a Dan exclusive. Who is this guy? This is a certified hood yeah, classic. He He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his route. <laughs> I like I'm how he just here. shouts, I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. Yeah, Jesus, just go in. Fuck. Cover this spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole. He's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are. Got it. Got it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? You working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new... They just animal? gun him down right here. Looks like it. Why does his voice sound so different? He yeah, it's weird. I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. Uh-oh. This feels like the end of LA Confidential. Oh, they're just making a political offer with each other. Oh, jeez. So Peterson never wanted to do the right thing. Peterson wanted to just gain more yeah. power. Yeah, he's just like, make me part of your outfit. I got dirt on all of yous. Yeah, it's just collateral. Uh, this is interesting. This is an interesting. Oh, the the color finally all the, came back all the way. Yeah, Shit. yeah. Where's How this gun? You think you can hold out? Yep. Take care of him. I have a machine gun now. Ho ho ho. Thank you. Every machine gun. <laughs> we have several machine gun references. Yes, I I can't not say it that way. Ow, ow, ow. Quit shooting me. So I'm gonna pop out from the corner here? It's possible. I don't see any red dots though. Whoa, there's an explosion. Throw out the gun. That was interesting. What? Just the, shoot indiscriminately the, the, at all, any shadow or something. The guy just standing there. He's not firing. What? Okay, sure, you're dead now. What if that was your what if that was someone cool? What if that was Phelps? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, know. shit. Oh. Are there any pipes to climb, or...? Um... Uh, take a left here? Left. Uh, oh. Wait, I think that, yeah, down that way. Isn't this where I, isn't that where I came from? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, 
All right. All right. Well, good above thing me. you have. Good thing you have magazines for any gun on you. Yeah. I, I came well prepared. Oh God. Don't worry. I came prepared. Oh. Nice. In the water. And ain't no lady. You mean you? Yeah. You're pretty dead for a dead man. <laughs> you got a problem. You're gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> Wait, I don't know that reference. What is uh, that? It's from the very first episode of Best of the Worst where they watch Russian Terminator, and that's the Russian Terminator's big catchphrase. Wait, what is it? Russian Terminator. No, but I mean the catchphrase. You got a problem. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Where's the Resident Evil 2 crocodile? It's coming, don't worry. Where's Killer Croc, for that matter? He's coming too, don't worry. Lots of crocodiles. Oh my god. Oh damn, he is defending himself. So there is a flame man in the tunnels for sure. Wow. The final boss is Ira... Ira Flameman? Yes. Fireman. I have the high ground. Oh, your hat. That's it. Out of ammo. Ah, oh, shit. You actually have ammo? There we go. Okay. So this is a this is just a big uh, shootout mission. Yeah. Good thing you're wearing shoes that don't slip on water. That guy was just hopping. Look at these guys just slumped over. Yeah, pick up a new machine gun. This is just a rifle, I think. Well, that guy never lost his hat, even though he died. That's some good hat. That's a strong hat. Hat maintenance. Oh, he picked up something else. Uh, oh! Thompson. Oh, there's a flamethrower! Oh! Oh, and then you have a big old sequence for this. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, this whoa. Is, this okay. is amazing. This is a little much. This is perfect. Oh, and the rain is making all the water fill up. Okay. Water's rising. Yeah, I could tell. Man, how poetic. In a place full of rising water, your greatest power is fire. Really makes you think. Oh, I have to travel to there? Fuck. Yeah, you gotta go against the current, man. You gotta be like a Sam on. Really? This is how it works? Just me getting shot? Can you can you hit him with fire from here? No, I can't even aim right now. Ah, shit. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we will flame you soon. Don't you worry. Oh shit, we're too high. How do we get to him? We gotta be able to burn him. Ah, damn it. Oh, it's a hole. Can you just take out your gun? And take him out? Uh, it won't let me switch weapons. It looks like you're holding your handgun right now. Or maybe I'm wrong. What? Oh, that what was how, what was this scene? How lame! All of that was lame. Princess? What was that? Nah, I don't like that. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. You remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come to <laughs> kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Why'd you take off the flamethrower? For the cutscene. You haven't come for God me. damn it. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was? And Naha? Yes, I was. 
You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I Dang. fight for God now. We all fight Chapter for God. Chapter title drop. In our own ways. Not everybody knows it. Kelso, are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Was with Everyone's us lost their out. hats. What? I know this. This you seems this way guy? less cool than it could be. Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? He doesn't even I remember him. No. Don't. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full this of civilians. An... Oh no. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, Vix. <laughs> Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Is Jack actually gonna kill him? Oh no. So here is the fucked up cutscene. Oh God! What they're bringing you, attention Lieutenant? to what it's. But Jesus, look at all the, the smoke and the smell. I'm screaming! I need to think. And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp. Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. He was about to now, burn him to death, that's but he ran out of ammo. And then, oh. and then Courtney shot Phelps. I didn't know that. And that's why Phelps went home early from the war. Everyone out of here now. Double time. And that's what got him the medal? You two good He got the medal from surviving station. Sugarloaf Hill, but Weapon he went home be because of this. this in two minutes. Okay. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. This is why Ira went crazy, because he did this. Well then. Because Cole made him. Yeah, yeah. Cole, up here! I'll get this great rush! The water is rising! You're first! Hand her up! Get out of here! You're not here! I'm not arguing! You're wounded, Jack! Let me help! What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole! Jump for it! That's really dramatic. Why did it rush so fast? It's the LA sewer water systems, and it's not designed to handle that much rain. So, uh. Well contrived, but okay. Yeah. Does that mean Cole's dead? Did he drown? Oh boy. So it's not a happy ending. So he finally became kind of a hero. At the very end, he sort of redeemed himself. Well then. Oh, Herschel's like, ugh. We're gathered here. Fuck you, Roy. Phelps. Uh, seriously, it's him? Yeah. Cole Delivering Phelps the eulogy? The that sucks. Kind of here, here. A war hero. Look at all of these conspirators up valor. front. Oh. That does not feel great. One of his countries I don't like honors. that. A cop wrongly accused 
who never lost his faith in the LAP. Who's even the saying this for? Like, Nobody who's here? Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself a oh. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer. Who we'll recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight That's the best he could hope for with him. Life. Yeah, man. That's fair. What a happened? A good husband. A good father. Oh my now God. his... Being a husband and father say, never factored in. A good friend. All of these are oh, lies. Fuck off. He wasn't a good Boo. friend to anyone. He was never a good father and he was never a good husband. Boo. This entire and this entire speech is a lie. And the Worst DA, the new DA ever. just shook hands with Roy. So oh, no. this is Chinatown. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's a noir ending. Oh boy. Well, what what are you gonna expect? Yeah, uh, that was Ellie Moore. Moore's in the title. Oh my god! So well, I, it's a sad ending. Um, I'll always appreciate cutting straight to soothing old music. Okay, and fuck you too, Brendan McNamara. <laughs> oh him. Yeah. Uh, I guess he wrote a good thing. It's it's well written. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, like uh, as no, far as video game plots yeah. go, but, but he also wrote in that stupid newsreel <laughs> film. Yeah, I don't, that 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 that's that framing bad. device sucks. Yeah, it really, really does. It's really bad. Oh boy. So it's not a it's not a happy game. Uh, no, not <laughs> not much of a happy game in general. Like, it's not even literally a bittersweet ending, it's just a fucked up ending. There's no redeeming, no, no redemption happened at all. The closest thing is that Cole actually did well, one final heroic thing before dying. Yeah. That's about it. Like, Jack Kelso is now working for a corrupt DA. Um, Elsa's, you know, lover is dead. Uh, Cole's family has no father anymore. Herschel's out of a partner. There's yeah. no, nothing happy happening here. I love you. And then the wheels keep turning. Yeah, that freeway's gonna get built, and they're gonna make money off of it still. Yeah, man. Even Who Framed Roger Rabbit, even though it ended with, like happier. We know those free freeways. Those are gonna freeways get built. still got fucking built. Yeah, and we know the red cars got bought out. <laughs> yeah. So. And Toontown's all but dead in Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, they re they yeah they relocated it to Disneyland and they started shrinking it bit by bit. <laughs> it's like we'll toss you a really shitty KCAL nine program that airs <laughs> old old antiquated oh, Mickey Mouse shorts. Oh man, that's a throwback. Oh man. Toontown, Toontown, oh, the Mickey's Toontown, Toontown. And this is Elsa singing. Ah, so this is a new original song. I think so, yeah. That's appropriate. Yeah, it's appropriate for her to be singing here, so. Do in a moment's time. <laughs> uh, a lot of rock stars are in this uh, different studios. They had to take over for Bondi. <laughs> they had to roll up their sleeves and get in there and save this game and yeah. fill it with buggy vehicles. Yeah. Rage technology crew. <laughs> so that's that's the engine responsible for all our shenanigans, huh? Yeah, it's very my rage gauge is full. You know, you remember that period of time back in like when the Wii came out where like there was the Havoc engine, which both like Super Smash Brothers Brawl and like uh Force Unleashed used, and everyone was like and also like rage came out all these like physics engines came out and people were like oh mm -hmm. this is gonna change everything because like they were still feeling the effects of like half-life 2 and like oh yeah let's do physics everything and then it yeah, made yeah. all those games super janky <laughs> that's true like, like even brawl was like really janky with physics and stuff oh man brawl is a janky ass game it's super jank oh man i don't like to go back to brawl it never, yeah, even when you go back to it, it doesn't feel good, huh? Like, it feels, no. like, really, like, 
and there is even like like even the art direction and design of it wasn't my favorite everything's kind of muted yeah a little muted a little too like pikachu looks really weird in it yeah pikachu in particular was such a disappointment to me he i was an oh. actual downgrade from melee sal castiglioni he's the uh, related to frank castle <laughs> oh nice <laughs> That's uh. a real fact you just dropped out there. <laughs> noted, noted <laughs> real life vigilante, Frank Castle. Yes. Yes. The oh. castle of Cagliostro. <laughs> Wait, does that seriously just mean the castle of Castle? Is that what Cagliostro means? No, no, I don't think so. No, he just had. That's just what. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so Cole Phelps' actor was from. Uh, Aaron Staten from Mad Men. A lot of these are yeah. a lot of these people were in Mad Men in, in one yeah, time or another. Yeah, that's true. And then uh, Har the guy who played Peter Blomquist is a rock star, uh, um, a rock star uh, staple. He's in a lot of rock star things. Hmm. And then and the rest of this, you know, these are all the character actors we've known over over the years, you know. That we uh, like all those faces that you're gonna be like, oh yeah, ah yeah. oh, man, I've seen him before, but yeah, oh well. Tim the Toolman Taylor's brothers in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know him by name. I wish you just said that, Tim the Toolman Taylor's brother. <laughs> <sighs> you know who I'm surprised isn't in here? The the guy who played Drew Carey's brother. Oh yeah, yeah. He like he would have fit right in with this with this they cast. They could have made him the killer, like because he's 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 the suspected uh, Zodiac killer in Zodiac, right? True. So you know. Which is actually a really good role for him. He, he worked really well in that movie. Well, he only like showed up in that final like two, three minutes, right? Right. Yeah. But he, but he looked really like. Yeah. He's really oh yeah. Like guy. he, 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 <laughs> he did a really good job with what he was yeah. given. Yeah. And a similar movie, similar type of story where the wife and children don't matter. Nope. <laughs> I think we've pointed that out once yeah, before. Yeah. The, the both of these games, it kind of intention. Well. In Zodiac, it's doing it to show, like, how fucked up his life is. Well, um, yeah, like, his obsession with, like, investigating... Yeah, like, it, like it's a backseat concern for him, so it becomes a backseat concern for the movie. Mm -hmm. Whereas in L.A. Noir, it's just because the writer forgot to write about it. <laughs> Basically. There's one scene with the wife, and that's wow, it. this is a big cast. Yeah, man. They got, they got their money's worth out of that studio... No wonder it took so long to record all those performances. That studio was probably recording performances every day. Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe not for all these pedestrians, though. Oh, cave victim. Wow. Oh. Oh, stunts performed by Drew Leary. Oh my god, even more, more characters. Wow. The local population? What? What do they mean by that? I have no that idea. A uh... Or are they talking about the neighbors that they annoyed with all of their... <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I right, well, uh, yeah, we know we're being loud, but don't worry, we'll put you in the credits. Yeah. And they're, they're like, like, oh, okay. <laughs> we're making a video game. Oh, making one of those newfangled video games. One of them moving controllable pictures. Tyco recording sessions. <laughs> of course. Yep. That's the yeah. Shakuhachi by Sacho Sugiura. Yeah. Elsa that's, songs. That's a wind instrument that was so overpowering in the soundtrack. Oh, Jack Benny, and uh, that's those are the the skits we heard. Okay. It hurts All right. So much. Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Oh, that's a com that's a song. Mm. I was always wondering what the origin of that was. Black and blue, Bobby Sox blues, Eager Beaver. Hey, ba 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 uh, little bird told Wait, me. Wait, is in the mood on this soundtrack? It'd be great if it was. Oh man, it doesn't seem to be a be, little they're, late. They're, they're but... going alphabetical, it seems. So I don't think it is. Damn, my heart is a hobo. <laughs> I like that. That plays at the hobo camp. Now, one o'clock jump. I do know that, and that's a that's a good ass Pistol song. Pack and Mama. That's a good ass song. Seems like old times. Sing, sing, sing. Ah, oh, they have sing, 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 but not in the mood. Mm, smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. <laughs> Don't smoke it. Smoke it. Don't smoke it. Depth analysis. 
Oh, it's a motion scanning, uh... Hmm. Oh, and Bink. All these games use Bink. I don't know if they're as prominently used now. Probably not Bink. anymore. There's probably better video compression software at this point. Yeah, and, and less Bink and was less back, need like, for it. Yeah, Bink was used back in, like, fucking Star Siege. You know, and Earth Siege 2, like, way back then. They were still using I it. just, I, Bink always stood out to me as having, like, a really shoddy, like, cheap-looking logo. Yeah. Even though they were so important. Yeah, well, you know, it's like a, it's like a 90s logo. Yeah. yeah, I remember, like, for a while, it was at the beginning of almost every GameCube game because everybody needed to compress the shit out of their, yeah. their, their, their movies. Because the last cutscene of the game, uh, oh. and it's uh, kind of a useless one, but you'll How see. How about this for a headline? Guess which former Sixth Marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, it could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The Shadow Boys, our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps? You didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge. Wife and kids in tow and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're going to have to work as a <laughs> gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. No, no pictures oh, you got his job paper. back that oh, him, no yeah. yeah. For me, though. I can't believe I just went through Petalu and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is oh. it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus. This could have been seen in the middle of the game. Can you imagine yes. that's worth on the street? And this would have been much better to Hundreds see in the middle of, of the game. Of Absolutely. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have a This could have been a newspaper a flashback. God damn it, Sheldon. Yeah. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. Oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's, it's the chance of our lives. Our boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have right. This is this part of the later wave that came and home and didn't the get the heroes welcome. Right. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. But they did go through with it, so they're nothing to you. So the, yet he still respected them. Yeah. So the scene, the, the scene loses a lot of impact because we already know everything that happened. Yeah. Like. Uh, See, it's a weird. It's a weird. The game would have almost been better without that cutscene. They should just that, not put that, it in. Or if you're gonna, let us see in the middle of the story. Yeah. That had a lot of good information in it. Like, that was... Well, I think part of it's because they want to... contextualize things, too. I think part of it is that they, they intentionally trying to keep you out of the dark sort of thing. Yeah, but I don't see the benefit. I don't see it either. And I always thought that that last cutscene was kind of, you know out of place I, the only so thing i can think things. of is that the only thing the only thing i can think of as to why they show that then is that mm -hmm. it may be like trying to point out at, that hey even the morphine heist was motivated by phelps somehow maybe and, and he it's has also caused like, all the problems somehow like but the only thing that i can well the only other thing i can think of that the the significance of putting at the end would be uh well these guys are like flat fucking phelps you know he's he's got it made back home what a bastard and he died yeah so it's like it's like well the the, the it's like the iron grass of, is always yeah. greener sort of a thing except some of these guys also die some of them uh one of those guys was that that the club owner who died because he made money off of the morphine heist and he bought a club yeah so people are so, dying any some of them are dying anyway courtney died fucking mm -hmm. you know a lot of those guys are dead now actually 
I so, guess it's just one more n nail to drive home the points. Like, well, no one made out, made it out unscathed here. Yeah, except maybe Jack Kelso. Only that, like, you already knew that that Cole was dead and did not. Like, it's more of a revelation of how people felt about Cole. Right, right. And and found out that he was, you know, making strides at, at home. Yeah. But again, it, all of that still would have been better to, to to see in the middle of the game. Yeah, because it, it's that little speech Jack gives is like kind of a nice speech, but it we know it means nothing. Yes. That's the problem. Like he did not sever himself from everyone. He, yeah. he tried his best to help even so. So I don't know. I, I don't know why they did this. Uh, Wait, when did Ira get sent back? Uh, he must have gotten sent back at the same time as Cole. Hmm. Because he's all settled in a house and everything. So That's true, that's true. Um, and it seems like he had been working for uh, Exterminator Exterminator Company for a little bit. So, You know what actually might have been more interesting to see at the, as a bookend cutscene would be... What if we see... Like, what happened to his war buddies finding out about Cole's death. Mm, like the last, like Jack, like Jack visits the, the bus driver guy who's like one of the few guys left alive and they talk about it. Right, right, right. What I kind of always wanted to see was a scene of Jack like in his car or something. And now he's like looking or, or, or a scene where Jack later goes up to like the, D, the new DA mm -hmm. and he goes, you know what? I quit. And he, and he decides to become a private investigator on his own to like imply, you know, he's still going to continue. And that's also a potential sequel. True. Because Jack Kelso would be the natural conclusion choice for a sequel character, right? Like, you, right. You and, and like, since we've left this this story with like the, the police and and local government is as corrupt as ever. And Jack is like the only stand-up guy in the whole outfit. Yeah, you could you could do a very easy Jack Kelso versus the city plot. Wait, hold on. Refresh my memory. Was Jack the guy who kept on getting shit on by the drill sergeant yes. in the earlier? Yes. Why was the drill sergeant after his ass so much? Because he was terrible at he he got um uh, drafted into the officer program because uh, of his um, aptitude, but he was terrible at tests and stuff like that. And the drill sergeant was like, you're also just not doing anything, everything by the book, which Kelso doesn't. He's not a by I the guess. book guy. That's, that's much more Phelps. Phelps is like, I do everything by the book. And whereas Jack is like, I go in guns blazing. And he eventually tells the drill sergeant, I don't care about this chicken shit stuff. I just want a gun and fight the war. You know? So. Right, right. So like there was that, like that aspect of his personality doesn't necessarily counterbalance his, his like, uh, upstandingness otherwise no no it's just a compliment so to him. yeah so like since that's like the main um vibe you get from at first it's kind of like an interesting arc for him yeah yeah jack jack and like that's one of the interesting things about the storytelling of this is that there's no one who's like just a pure hero like, yeah like since every character is a little messy yeah, um, it, it, it's a game that leaves you with like a, a jumbled feeling. Yeah, because Cole obviously is very flawed. Um, wow, this music's going yeah, off. This, this music's popping off. Uh, Kelso is a Kelso is a flawed character as well. Like he's not the best at doing his job, and he's he's pretty extreme in his methods sometimes. You know, like Elsa was involved with bad people. You know, like it was all fucked everyone's a fucked up character no one has no one has no demons you know oh that's also true to noir yeah yeah and it ended on Noir's a really noir really bitter ending which is also very noir just watch a lady walk away from your office yep yep well i guess this is a good time to wrap it up thanks for uh coming along for the ride everybody this was fun to revisit um i hadn't played the game in a long time so uh, mm -hmm. It was good to re-remember a lot of stuff, and I'm glad Dan got to see it. Yay! Yeah, because I I owned L.A. Noir. I bought it fairly quickly after it released, but for whatever reason, I didn't actually go through with finishing it. I and don't now, know why. Now you did by proxy. 
Yes, it is essentially the same. <laughs> uh, I'm well, an expert now. Yeah, you're an Ask no me anything. <laughs> I'm going to go on Reddit tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, AMA. Yeah, all right. We'll see you guys, everyone. Bye. Later. Later.